Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here that was asked either on LockerGnome.net through Twitter, if you put at Chris Perillo or at LockerGnome in the tweet, and we caught the question, uh, or could have been asked in a YouTube comment thread in one of the videos if you've subscribed at all, and hopefully you have by now. If not, no big deal. You can do it somewhere, hopefully on this page, wherever the hell this video is embedded. I don't know. I can't see into the future. I have no idea how the hell you're even watching this video. Either way, the question is... Hang on. I forgot the question. Give me a second. I've got to look at the webpage. I'm trying to look out the side of my eye so you can't tell that I'm... What is CAPTCHA really used for? Yeah, that's that was that was a question. What is CAPTCHA really used for? Uh, well, in my estimation, to annoy the piss out of me. Have you ever gone to a web page? You type in a comment. You're doing things naturally, and all of a sudden it says, "Confirm by typing in these random characters," and then you try typing it in. It says you typed it wrong. So you do it again, and then you do it again, and then you do it again, and then by that time it's it's not working. Forget it. My comment wasn't that important. I'm moving on. It's a big World Wide Web. I'm out of here. CAPTCHAs were designed to help the website differentiate you from a spammer. Problem is, CAPTCHAs can be broken. And they have been broken. Because spammers can get through them. In fact, they pay people in other countries, you know, beyond the, the U.S., uh, to go in and to effectively bust through CAPTCHAs so that they can post their spam to your blog or the website that uh, happens to have a, a CAPTCHA in place to try to keep the dregs of the internet off of your uh, in entire enterprise. And maybe it's not an enterprise, maybe it's just a blog, who knows. The, the, the idea is, is that it was made as a stopgap so that it wasn't so simple uh, for comment spam uh, to uh, proliferate your particular blog, forum, website in general, wherever you're taking user feedback. Do CAPTCHAs work? Yeah, they do. Uh, they, they really do. Uh, but uh, they also really don't. They solve a problem, but uh, people get around the CAPTCHAs easily. So they, they were designed... For, for, for a good reason. But, uh, no. No. You know, and I hate to say this because it, it kind of frightens me to have my identity tied into uh, any central service, no matter who owns it. Uh, Facebook is probably the closest thing that I have to an identity on the web. Or Twitter, possibly. Uh, yeah, I've got my blog, too. But, uh, you know, on Facebook, I can authenticate on a website and say, this is me. This is me. This is my account. I'm signing in for my account. And you know it's me. There's no way of, of, of violating that. You can't say you're me, at least on, on Facebook. I am me. There's only one me, and that's me, right? Uh, Identity is a, a challenge. Uh, but, you know, so as long as there is a, a, a reason to uh, gunk up someone's webpage with your gunk, your junk, whatever you want to call the stuff that nobody wants to see, uh, they're going to do it. People are going to post uh, junk anywhere in the hopes that one person is going to click and they'll make one sale out of it. Because if it doesn't cost them anything to do, yeah, they're going to do it. And they'll, they're going to do it because there's nothing tying them back uh, or potentially those comments back to their own identity. They don't want to be known as the person who's doing that, right? So again, I, I think as more people... To, uh, to, to kind of wrap it up, as more people start to use things like Facebook to tie into their identity, I think the, the idea of, of comment spam is just going to dissipate. In fact, I have considered, and I'd be interested in your feedback on this, I've considered uh, moving the blogs at chris.perlo.com and lockerdome.com uh, to uh, using uh, Facebook for comments. So we don't really have CAPTCHA. We currently use Discuss, and uh, spammers get through all the time. They try to sneak in their links, and I delete them. I, I actually I edit their comment and delete the link and then post the 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 comment without the link. <laughs> That's what they get. Uh, so what do you think about CAPTCHA? What do you think about all this identity stuff? What do you think about using Facebook for comments? It's all kind of tied together. Are you a spammer? 
I'm guessing you're not. Give me your feedback. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Feel free to leave a comment in this thread. I'm sure you'll troll. I'm sure you'll spam. Well, maybe some of you won't. I've got hope for you. Not the person behind you, but you in general. The person behind you is kind of creepy. Uh, I already told you the blogs. At Chris Perillo on Twitter. Told you that in the beginning of the video. Uh, but did you know about the uh, chat room yet? Uh, I've only mentioned it in like every video that I've ever uploaded. Well, not every single one. But we've got nerds and geeks hanging out. Uh, even when I'm not here in this desk area, we've got a live video feed trained in here where you can watch the uh, open source electric sheep screensavers behind me on the desk. It's kind of neat, huh? Production value. Gotta love it. Uh, anyway, you can join us in the chat room, part of a live video feed, going out over the web 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.